Now it's Sparage taking the shot, scores! What a move! What a goal! How about that? Good his way to the net, scores! Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is NOJHL game day. Welcome inside our league studio, everybody. I'm Alex Bastiavansky. Puck drop is just minutes away, but I've got to get you caught up on all the latest from the league first, so let's go. Snapped around there by Bayou, and now here's Thomas Beard with some space. Thomas Beard, score! Thomas Beard, short-handed goal! Open the scoring! This was the showdown of the night between two hot teams. Timmins drew first blood, but Hurst responded soon after. Battling against Sears. Willette, Schillinglaw, scores! Adam Schillinglaw ties it up on the power play. Liu finds Scadden, Scadden, Kelly on the doorstep, he scores! Jack Kelly gets the Rock the lead back. Tin though by Poole, just rides the blue line. Shot is oh. effective, they score! Zach Secord throws that in! Zach Secord provided what proved to be the game winner for Timmins there. Liam Boswell rips that one home, but uh, The Rock win it 3-2 and now have won six straight. Blind River in Iroquois Falls. The two squads were scoreless until the third frame. Off the glass, right in front of her vantage, but big hit along the line by Hinman. Hinman admiring his check, they walk in and score! 16-18 to go, it's 1-0 Blind River. Try and work it ahead and manages to work it loose. Storm trying to get the puck to the middle of the ice, here they come. Mayo, watch it, SCORES! Jordan Mayo puts it home! Strathui along the near boards, breakaway chance the other way now. Here comes Dukeshire, walking it on Sullivan, SCORES! Dukeshire roofs it for the overtime winner. Blind River has now won five straight games, Espinola, facing Powassan. It was tied 1-1 in the first when the Kings take the lead. Puck comes out front again with Hill. Hill, far side, another chance. Stopped by Wilcox, rebound is on the doorstep and is tapped home by the Paper Kings with his man, that's Westbury. And the puck comes out front, good chance there, Anthony Boys! Wide open net as Hatfield was diving for it. The save, a sprung on the breakaway here, Dubroy. Dubroy walks in, he scores! Caden Dubroy, his 11th of the season is a beauty. That proved to be the game winner for the Voodoos as they would add two more for the 5-2 win. Sioux Thunderbirds in French River. The Thunderbirds took a 2-0 lead, but it was all Rapids. After that, Jack Wilson gets them on the board. A buck 58 into the second, and then over the blue line, leaves it for Mason. Stop up, cross ice, pass, Valenez scores! Tick, tack, toe. Oh my goodness. In the third, this one proved to be the game winner. Where is the puck? Watch the left side of the screen. Gavin Haslam finds it first and fires it home. That is the winner, the Rapids. Reel off five straight to take it. The Eagles hosting the Vikings, no scoring until the second. Is that one brought back to Russell? Russell with a shot. Oh, it's a deflection. Heidel expires, we'll go to five on four now. Fortson back in, big shot drive. There, there it is. is. He'll kick that one in. Caulfield, quick shot. Look there at that. There it is. What a, there it is. What a setup. Crazy to think there was no scoring until the second period. The Sioux pot 10 and cruise to the big win. Today's games, four on the schedule. Iroquois Falls in Kirkland Lake. Sudbury taking on the Voodoos. The Vikings in French River to face the Rapids, and Blind River will head to Hearst to tangle with the Lumberjacks. Let's start with Blind River in Hearst. The Beavers are now on a five-game winning streak. They are 2-0 so far this season against the Hearst Lumberjacks. Should be a good one. Sudbury in Powassan. The Cubs are now on a five-game win streak. The Voodoos have won two straight. Sudbury won both games against Powassan this year, including an overtime victory at the League Showcase, October 2nd. Elliott Lake traveling to French River, first meeting of the season between the teams. The Vikings, one and four in their last five. The Rapids, two and three over that time. Iroquois Falls travels to Kirkland Lake. 
Uh, the Miners have lost five straight. The Storm are one and four in their last five. Last time they played on September 27th, the Storm won 2 1 in overtime. Okay, who's hot right now? Let's look at a couple of goaltenders that are. Matthew Varamian from the Sudbury Cubs. Fantastic season so far. He's a uh, statistical leader in most categories for goalies. 8 and 1, 1 1.98 goals against average, 931 save percentage, and a shutout. While Graham G, the 16 year old, the youngest goaltender in the NOJHL right now, great season, 5 and 2, 2.10 goals against average, 908 save percentage, and he has one shutout for the Timmons Rock. Primetime player from last night, Connor Dunham Fox from Blind River. Now, both goaltenders were phenomenal in this contest, but Connor stopped 42 of 43 shots to lead Blind River to the overtime victory over Iroquois Falls. Play of the day now brought to you by BrokerLink, Auto Home and Business Insurance. BrokerLink, life is confusing. Your insurance shouldn't be, and we are giving it to the Duke of Blind River, Aaron Dukeshire, who had the overtime winner. Breakaway chance the other way now. Here comes Dukeshire, walking it on Sullivan, scores! Put it high, glove side, the jubilant Blind River Beavers come away with a victory. And just a reminder that to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the NOJHL all throughout the season, be sure to check out the league's official social media outlets. Now it's off to the rink for puck drop. Enjoy the game, everybody.